Hello and welcome to another episode of Farming Simulator 22 on Attingham Park. Right, it's, we are joined today by Mr. Diolo. Mr. Diolo has gone to the shop. We've actually, I, I did do a little bit of recording, like I said, from the last episode. I have bought one of our old trailers back from the shop. Um, the, honestly, the reason why is the sheer fact that it was, it's, it's, it's a nightmare to sell this silage. Um... Obviously, as you can see, I rented one of these and I started clearing, started clearing the bunker out. Um, <laughs> yeah, you, 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 you can see it's, it's a hell of a, this is a hell of a mammoth uh, task to do. Why? How can I park that in there and then get, oh, I'll tell you why, because as I'm filling up the uh, trailer, It is, um, it's getting stuck. You'll find we're stuck there on the silage. I did this twice yesterday. <laughs> and, uh, while I was just selling a little bit off recording. Like I say, I spent maybe an hour of, like, IRL, um, selling silage yesterday. That's why we got the money in the bank. Um, and honestly... Yeah, an hour, and I think I did like six trips. It's quite, it's quite a long way to go to sell this. It's quite a long way to sell this at fifty-two thousand liters at a time. So every two trips is like, it's only a hundred and four thousand. So just round it down to a hundred thousand, and it takes quite a long time to get to the animal dealer. Um, if anyone's like, oh Reaper, why don't you just go to the uh, biogas? That's all well and good. We still have 400,000 litres at the biogas. And I kind of want to leave some over there to keep topping the biogas up, basically. Um, but yeah, that's kind of going to be uh, today's episode. Mr. Diolo has gone for another trailer to get a little bit of on. We need to get ploughed and de-stoned in a field as well. Um, so I'm hoping we're, we're not probably going to get all the silage sold. But we need to at least sell a, a, a couple of uh, a couple of trips. So it is going to be a bit of a time lapse episode because we have got quite a lot of work I'd like to get done in November. Now, we could keep the silage until January and make an absolute fortune. The problem is I need to cut the grass in all the animal pens. Um, and I'm not... I don't really want to do silages in bunker. I, I would rather do uh, bales. But I need the bunker empty to basically make sure I've, I, you know, I, I can do that. So the last thing we want to do is, but oh, let's put this in the bunker and then the bunker's full. It's just going to delay everything else. Um, but yeah, the money-wise, like I say, I've sold six, six loads. We went from twenty grand to like basically we were getting thirty thousand a. Yeah, we were getting about about thirty-ish thousand, including the um, environmental score for each trailer full. Um, so yeah, it, it's it's going, it's going. Um, I'm just going to go and sell this load. You can see how much we get. Now this was obviously I was selling in October. Um, I did jump to November just at the start of this episode, just so because it it was getting dark. Um, so yeah, we should get, in theory, a little bit more now, because it's worth a little bit more. It, it wasn't a bad price yesterday. I think it was £40 off best price yesterday in, in October. And yet, December and January is meant to be the better month, so we should get... I'm, I'm expecting maybe thirty-two, thirty-three thousand, 33000 maybe. I, I don't know. We'll, we'll find out in a second. But yeah, we have got a few of these loads to do, so... If I can get a few loads done, get on a field, do some work, you know. Worst case scenario, if we can get the field work done, then we can just... We can do more. Um, yeah, I, I sold six loads of silage yesterday, and I never crashed once into this building. I've started recording today, and I've been stuck already. I've crashed already into that building. Yeah, this is... Uh, Oh, look at that money go. Wow.
I said 30,000. 28,9. That environmental score has come down. That environmental score was 2,700 um, in October. That's come down, but the price has come up. Uh, look, let's look at it this way. 31, 32. It's 32-ish thousand per trailer. I don't think that's too bad at all. Um, like I say, I could jump cut every single one of these, kind of just, or we can just, um, we can just time lapse it. And like I say, I'd like to do at least three loads today. I mean, say it gets a hundred and fifty-ish thousand out of the way. Um, so if we do three loads now, we get on with some field work. I think that's going to be the best way to do it. Um, we'll turn the radio on and uh, we'll get we'll get them done. back at the farm there's three loads done i did tell you it takes such a long time to sell this silage it is so far to travel um refill tipper refill tipper with what um but yeah like i say what we're going to do now is we're just going to um i'm, I'm going to leave this here i'm going to get on with a little bit of field work i want to do something else other than just sell the silage um we have got a lot of a lot of work to do over on on the farm um i'm not really sure mr diola i told it basically it was like a list of jobs and i was like basically pick one but like you know the, the silage is like the biggest job of them all um but we do need to get something in the ground um i drove past this field and i was also looking at this field i meant to jump out in the time lapse and check this field i can't remember if we fertilized this yes we did 
needs roll. Yeah, I'm not I'm not interested in rolling at the moment. It it's nice to get rolled. Um but it's not the end of the world. Alright. I want to have a look in the shop as well at what other little options have come up. Wow, look at that little spreader. We sell our spreader and make some money here? No. Ours is worth six grand. Wow. Um, I must admit, I'm very tempted by the little bale shredder. I am, t I am tempted by that bale shredder. If it had been a feed mixer, we'd have been laughing, because I'm desperate now for a feed mixer. Um, like I said, there's going to be quite a few time lapses in this episode today. It, it's, it's not done... It's not done, like, through choice, it's just... It's just unfortunately the way it is today. It's a very, very, very busy episode. Um, one thing I want to do though, is I'd like to just bring that around there like that. Now the reason why I'm, I just wanted to do that, is if you remember, well if you notice when we were driving um, through this bend, um, yeah, we were we were just catching this field, and let's be honest, that bit of grass there is not gonna is not gonna lose as much income, if any. Um, but yeah, we need we need to get this this uh, field ploughed today. It needs to be de-stoned. It needs to be seeded. We've got loads of work now. We don't necessarily need to seed it. Now, we, we're we going to plant wheat. We've got wheat in one. We're going to put barley in another. Probably going to put oat or sorghum in another. So, both fields that we do have empty are not exactly going to be um, having winter crops. I can't get over how little we're getting from that little trailer. Um, but yeah, Mr. Diolo's cracking on with a little bit of selling. But yeah, it's going to take quite a while to sell all that silage. And like I said, I'd like to try and keep about 100,000 litres of silage um, for the animal feed now. Well, like I said, we do have 400,000 litres over at the biogas as well. Um, but I'll probably sell another few little bits of silage off recording. Just because at the end of the day, it's, it's not the end of the world. Uh, to sell a little bit of silage. I genuinely can't get over how uh, how much there was. 1.4 million litres. And if you sell it at the best price, you're talking like £589. I mean, you'd be talking 750-ish thousand-ish. Um, obviously, you know, we sold a couple of hundred thousand litres, sold 400,000 litres at less than the best price. We sold a little bit more today at a little, you know, a little bit other than the less price. Like I said, the best price in this series when it comes to silage is not the end of the world. We've done a lot of silage in this series. We're going to be doing more silage along with everything else, the silage. Because I'm hoping to buy field 31 and 32, which is just those two grass fields there. Now, they're not going to stay grass fields. Um, one of them will stay a grass field. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking overall, um, if we can just... I'm not going to buy them and not cut them, put it that way. Um, too right, we're going to cut We're going to cut the grass. It basically pays for the field. But I'm hoping to get a new piece of kit by then. Um... It is a mod, um, basically you attach it to your forage harvester, it empties into the trailer and it makes bales as you go along. And yeah, I'm hoping to uh, I'm hoping to try that because like I say, it's another way of doing silage. It's, uh, I don't want to be uh, doing every, I don't want to be doing it all the time in a bunker. Like I say, silage is a fantastic money earner, but I don't want to be doing it all the time. Well, I don't mind doing it all the time, just as long as we're doing something else at the same time. Um, 
I think by the time I do this field, this is going to be the end of the episode, and I'm not really going to get much else done, which is going to be devastating, really. But I was hoping to get this field planted today, but I don't think that's going to happen. I might destone it off recording, though, guys. You've seen me destone. I don't. I'm not the biggest fan of stones. I normally just turn stones off, but I've kind of made a point of leaving them on. But obviously, I'm, if I de-stone every field all the time, these videos are not going to be uh, very productive. But like I say, I can, oh, I can get this bit done. I think that would put us in a good spot, really. Um, I didn't put the time up to five today. I knew we had a lot of silage to sell. Um, I thought if I put the time to five today, we'd end up just doing silage and running out of time. Um, so I left it on three. I thought it was better in the long run. We'll get a little bit more work done in this in this month. Like I said, I want to try and get this, this field planted, if I can, in November. So in the next episode, we'll be in November as well. Not the end of the world. Keep missing little bits on that bloody edge. I'm trying to be a little bit more... Not wasting. I can't think of the word there. Um, you know, like, my overlap's always been, like, really terrible and things like that. I'm trying to be a little bit more energy efficient, shall we say. Oh, just efficient in general. And then, uh, yeah, that just did not go whatsoever. But we've done a headland now, guys. So I'm going to whack the music back on. We're going to get this field ploughed up. And uh, this tractor is not going bad to say it's massively underpowered. And then, yeah, like I say, we'll see what kind of position we're in once we've done that. This job is taking forever. Yeah, literally this is... Uh, <laughs> it's not the biggest plough in the world. Actually, I think it is relatively big for what it is. Um, yeah, Mr. Diolo is like, Oh, do you want me to set a lot of field work? It all needs to be done. Um, yeah. 
So obviously it's just me and Mr. Yolo on this series. And uh, yeah, because uh, Mr. Flo goes off to uh, Indonesia, I think sometime in the next two weeks. So proper, proper excited for him because obviously, you know, it's one place in the world I've never been and I would love to go. Um, kind of gutted though that Mr. Flo's not going to be around anymore. You know, he's been a member for been a member of the reaper community for like a year now he's i consider him a friend even though he's dutch that's right i said that and before anyone whinges me me and mr flo we have a, we have a, a banter friendship you know what i mean um <laughs> yeah i've got nothing against dutch people i i think they're great actually i just just not flo <laughs> um but yeah i'm i can't i can't believe he goes in the next couple of weeks kind of thing and it's like ah uh, not really gonna get a chance to speak to him um, for me, I've lost like a, a farming buddy. I've, I've lost an Apex teammate. You know, Mr. Flo's ruining my game in life. <laughs> nah, on a serious though, who can pass an opportunity like that to go work in Indonesia for seven months? But it's Mr. Flo. He's accident prone. He'll probably break a leg or something and end up coming home early. And. If he doesn't break a leg and anyone lives in Bali, uh, yeah, if you want to go find him and break a leg, you know, and be like, that's from Reaper, by all means. <laughs> oh, but nah, I, just, just a little goy, because like I say, I just, from, from a personal view, well, I'm so happy for him, just obviously, just kind of gutted that it's, you know, seven months is a long time, do you know what I mean? Seven months. I've literally known people be pregnant and have a baby in less than seven months. <laughs> Granted, they're all uh, creamy babies, but you know, you still get the idea. Um, but yeah, it's just, that's why Mr. Diolo is using Flo's original tractor. Um, mainly because at the end of the day, Mr. Flo's not going to be here to use it, so he, he's, he's kind of had a bit of an upgrade on his uh, horsepower. Um, I did notice, though, that Mr. Diolo was driving like an idiot. He is very lucky that this field at the other side of us was stage one. Uh, he is very lucky with the way he just flew around that corner. I'm not really sure what it is, but not just Diolo in general. I, I see it when I, I, like, watch other people's videos and live streams and that. And what is it with people just flying around? Now, I've done it myself occasionally. What is it with people just flying around the map trying to get stuff done as quickly as possible? Like, I want to get this field done. This field needs to be finished. I'm not going to finish it on recording, though. That's obvious. Um, but, yeah, what what is it with people just rushing everywhere trying to get stuff done? We've got all the time in the world, especially when it comes to selling silage. He, like I say, he's lucky. If that had been anything higher than stage one, he would have ruined that field. Just because of like running around and stuff, um, he stopped selling silage. That's that's fine. I'm I'm not overly bothered. He, um, he's going to realise that Mr. Blow's tractor may not have enough power to pull that. I think he's I think he's just realised that he's going to need the wibbly wobbly to pull that thing. Um, but yeah, I am going to finish this, guys. Um, I'm most likely going to have to just finish it off recording because. The silage and this plowing is just taken so long today. But by the time we come into the next episode, we will have destoned this field. I will have most likely have um, limed it as well because the stones from the field will give us the lime. And then in the next episode, we can get it planted. We can sell some more silage. We can get this field planted. Um, yeah, I, I normally make notes of my time lapses. It gives me an idea because I have my time lapses on the speed of five. And obviously for every five minutes of a time lapse, uh, for every five minutes is a minute of time lapse. But I, I've i got my little notepad next to me. But my pen ran out. <laughs> and I, I, I was like, crap. So uh, yeah, I haven't kind of made a note. So I don't know if this is going to be like a long episode. Or a short one, because I won't know until I edit it. All I know is it's going to be... Uh, it's going to be whatever it is. Um, yeah. Hopefully, as well, guys, you've uh, noticed a little bit 
better increase in quality as well in the YouTube videos. Um, I've ditched Filmora for editing. Now, the transitions and stuff on the new software I'm using is really basic. I don't really have any. Um, but yeah, I'm now using Shotcut um, for video editing. I would love to get a Mac or an iMac, you know, a MacBook, something to edit with. Because I do like the look of the uh, the Apple software. Um, I, I couldn't get on with DaVinci Resolve for editing. Um, Filmora, I, I loved Filmora because it was so basic and quick. And I, I had loads of easy, easy for the shortcuts and stuff. But the problem is, it. I, I've just been thinking lately. Since, since they've upgraded it to Filmora 12. I, I paid for the upgrade as well, so to give you an idea, it's not some. I'm not just dissing some of that was free. You know, I paid for it, so I'm well within my right to say I just think the export quality of Filmora is crap, especially if you watch it on a slightly larger screen. Um, so I've gone to using Shotcut um, for video editing now, and I am feeling that that software is so much better. Um, just a personal. Just something personal I've noticed. If you watch on a phone and stuff, you will never know the difference. But I tend to watch, like, I always watch my videos back once I've done it. Uh, you know, once it's uploaded and that makes sure it's right on YouTube. That's why another reason why I record the day before, because if it's not right, I can re-edit it and things like that. And, yeah, I've just noticed since Filmora 12, it's just so pixelated and shockingly bad on a... Well, I use a 27-inch 2K monitor, and it just looks pixelated to hell. And, uh... Yeah, I've just not been happy with it. Um, but I have noticed since using the Shotcut um, software, which is completely free as well, by the way. It's completely free. Um, yeah, I've just noticed a massive increase in quality. But hopefully you guys have noticed that as well. Um, again, like I say, massively appreciate everybody who's been smashing that like and follow button over the last few days. Um, yeah, the last week we've had so many new subscribers. We've lost a few as well, but you know, I can't please everybody. I said that and started coughing. Um, but yeah, like I say, put a comment down below if there's something you want to see in a series. Or if you're like, whoa, you know, you do that too often kind of thing. Let me know in the comments below. Um, like I say, hopefully soon I'm going to be able to bring the Northern Coast to a live stream. That, was, that came in the poll in second place, so... I could keep it for the next series, or I can just do it in a live stream. Um, the only downside is it'll be in a live stream and the quality wouldn't be as good because live streams never are. Um, yeah, to give you an idea for bitrate, I usually record bitrate, but I'm not really sure what the bitrate is actually because I use C CQP, I think it is, on like level 15. And obviously when you live stream, it's like... 6,000 6, bitrate and that's it, you know. Great for live streaming, just not very good bitrate for uh, recording. In my opinion, anyway. Uh, but yeah, I have just about finished this, guys. It might be a little bit of a longer episode. If it is, I do apologise. I, I won't know until it's edited. I just feel like the ploughing of this field is taken so long to do. But I needed to come out that time last just because it was kind of... Yeah, it's it's been a very time-lapsey episode. At the moment, everything seems to be time-lapsey when it comes to videos. And it's not something I really like to do. But I also need to make sure... If I start a job, I need to make sure I get this finished in, in one episode. You know, there's, there's no point in me plowing a field and not getting it done. I do need to just get a couple of little bits I've missed just there. But as you can see, that is looking fantastic. Like I say, I will lime it just off recording. Um, I can't lime it till he's de-stoned, so, I, you know, it's going to take a little while. I know fine well how long it took me to de-stone that field, and this field is a lot, lot bigger. Just gonna put that out there. We are wheel spinning. I think next time we need to get dual wheels on the back of this Valtra. It's been a fantastic tractor though. Even though it doesn't have the massive engine upgrade that I thought I'd put on it. 
yeah, it's been fantastic. Um, in the next episode, though, guys, I think we are going to be uh, shopping for a forage harvester. Um, we we are going to be cutting grass again. Um, I am going to look at trying to buy field 31. Is it 31 and 32? I can't remember the numbers off the top of my head. Um, yeah, them two fields just over there, we're going to be buying them. Unsure if we're going to leave them as a grass field. Um, don't think. If we leave them as grass fields, we wouldn't need to ever cut the animal pens again. I don't really like cutting the animal pens. Um, but yeah, maybe maybe if we buy them to a grass field, we can put a road through as well. I don't know, some, something like that. But we will be getting a forage harvester. Um, something I was going to show you when I was talking earlier for the new baling. New way of doing baling. We're going to buy... I don't need to buy it or have to lease it first time because I don't know what it's like. We're going to look at this. £120,000. So you get a forage harvester, it fills up the tank, it makes the bales and it wraps. And basically you don't have to stop. You literally don't have to stop. You can just you can just keep going. Oh, that's nice. Could have a, could have a slightly different colour. Yeah, 250 brake horsepower is what's needed. Um, plus we need horsepower for the uh, the mower attachment. But yeah, that, that's kind of how I'm looking at cutting grass. Um, I know it's it's kind of similar to the way we did it first time in the sheep area, but obviously this time it's gonna it's gonna wrap the bills at the same time. So I'm I'm hoping that's gonna be it's gonna be good for us. Um, it should be one of them things as well where we don't have to keep stopping. I hope it is anyway. Um, but we are now also in a position to look at bringing in the dairy cows as well. Um, but that's going to be something that we're going to look at very, very soon. Um, any in particular reason why we've got seed on the floor? Interesting. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know why that's there like that. Um, but yeah, as I say, guys, I do massively appreciate everybody watching this episode. Um, and hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you've enjoyed it, please hit the like button. You know, possibly uh, smash that uh, subscribe button as well. It does mean a lot to me as a small YouTube channel. But yeah, I say we are trying to grow to a thousand subscribers. Um, but yeah, until the next time, guys. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you later on.